You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for the A-List Dallas. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest A-List Dallas news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues. It's after. <laughs> so, what is this? Rhinestone Cowboy. Why do I never know these things? Except for Donnie Marie. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> this used to be on the commercial of those compilation CDs that you need to see them on TV. That's oh. how I know the song. Like, like now six or whatever. Yeah, but wasn't, for like country wasn't music. Wasn't that a movie? I don't think it was now. With Sylvester Stallone. I'm pretty sure it's like no. a country compilation. No. Huh? Not ha- Sylvester, Sylvester Who was it? Stallone. I think John Travolta was in it. Travolta. Yeah, that's yeah. just kind of like one of those. Speaking of things that are gay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Housewives with balls. <laughs> Welcome to the A List Dallas episode six. Get out from under my boot. Ooh. I am Jackie Borowski. Really? To the left of me, Cameron Marston. And across from me, Natalie Bratney. And David Skifalitti. And in the booth, DJ Jesse Janity. The voice of God. And we also have a caller already, Damien, on the line. Say hi, Damien. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Do you have any um, <laughs> Do you have any questions or comments for us before we get started? Well, first of all, you guys are great. You're really funny. And uh, I saw your last show online and it was just um everything i was thinking basically oh thanks they're thank gonna you. think I, they're gonna think i hired you to say this <laughs> sorry what did you say i <laughs> said we're sisters from another mister when it comes to uh, ideals about uh, the a-list i think awesome awesome well i was gonna break in to talk about um james and his problems i'm, I'm gonna start with the <sighs> i'm gonna start with the hot item hmm um, what's your yeah? What's your opinion on James? Well, as they would say in the South, bless his heart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I Such think a backhanded that it, compliment. I'm really glad to see there's an intervention in the wings. It seems from like the clip from next week. Like, I'm really glad somebody's stepping in and being like, you know, we you need to do something because he really alcohol is not his friend. No, it is not, and he. Um, mm. Nor is party promoting. Nor is party <laughs> promoting. It's a little counterproductive. Yeah, he's but, he doesn't seem yeah. to be very good at that. Yeah, maybe he can work at a liquor store or something. That's just, <laughs> that I think that's what he was worst. thinking. He was probably thinking that party planning was the equivalent to working at the liquor store. Well, yeah, because when you're a party promoter, you drink for free. That's true. So. That's true. He goes to a lot of clubs, obviously, and he probably thought, this seems easy. You know, I'm friendly. I've got, you know... I could do this, but it's it's just, that's because he doesn't think he has a drinking problem, or he won't admit it. So. Exactly. Mm-hmm. God bless him. Um, God bless do you have him. any other comments on the episode? Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I want to talk about Chase and Levi. Oh, and I I Tyler. love you know me. I'm a person. I'm personal mm-hmm. like party of one for Chase. I'm a big Chaser. Chase fan. I think Levi. Chaser, I love that. Yeah, we, his little friends call him that apparently because um, we're Facebook homies and, <coughs> and his friends from Dallas call him Chaser. Oh, I just cute, think I think Levi's not good enough for him, and Levi no. is a big stinky bitch. He because he be chasing married men. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like I did say on the comments that Jackie, I know you saw because you liked it. I did. Facebook. I like things you on Facebook. <laughs> and Jackie, <laughs> Jackie is the stalker to Chase's chaser. That Chase asked Shut up. him several times. He asked Levi several times, "What's going on with you and Tyler? Are you guys serious?" And Levi's like, "No, it's whatever. Anyway, tongue down your throat." 
Yeah. So, so, yeah, but exactly how it goes down, too. Yeah, it is how it goes down. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> everybody knows that anything that Levi says can't be, has to be taken with a grain of salt. Right. And Chase should have known yeah. better. But I also think, I also think in this situation, I, I agree with Chase. I think he's right that um, it's not his responsibility to tell Taylor anything. It's not his responsibility to look after Levi's behavior. Um, yeah. He he points out to Ashley, why are you so angry about about at me with it's someone else's problem? He is, I mean, yes, he's sort of friends with Taylor, not really. So it's really. Oh my god, he despises the guy. All yeah. he does is say horrible things. No, I mean, well, let's just let's call it what it is. He said he doesn't really like the guy from the beginning. He never <laughs> said he was his friend. He never even said he was a positive acquaintance for the guy. So does he own any information? Not at all. Is he an idiot for thinking that? Because, I mean, if you can't see it, if it's not scripted, if you can't see it, Chase obviously has feelings for Levi deeper than he wants to admit. And mm -hmm. that's why he's involved in this whole situation. He's going to end up looking like an idiot. I, I actually yeah. like Chase. I mean, Levi's, Levi's getting it for free. Like I told, I, I told Jackie, they should just put a saddle on his lap. <laughs> For real. Oh I mean, speaking God. of his lap, he must be <laughs> blessed in that area because why would anyone else put up with him? He's he's crude, he's rude, he's incredibly promiscuous, he and he's disrespectful well. to people, yeah. and uh, has a drinking problem himself. I think. Yeah, I, I'm also. We were we were saying he looks drunk in every episode every that we episode. saw him in. That's every oh, scene. He looks yeah, well, you, have to, his words. you have to keep in mind also that all these people are really young still. Yeah. Except all, for Chase. Except, except for, for Chase. Chase. They're all in their early 20s. Oh. And like when you're in your t early 20s, someone like that is very charming. And he has like, mm -hmm. he does say all the right things when he needs to. Oh, no. What, but then when he gets put on the spot, it's all, er, I've, I've never seen anyone actually say, er. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, er, I, uh, when Chase <laughs> said, oh, so, so we've much. only been on two dates. He's like, what? Uh, uh. I, I, I wouldn't consider us, uh, I mean, er, oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> that's a four-letter oh. word. <laughs> yeah, he said that's a four-letter word. Oh, and how? And then Chase, like, says, uh, I can't believe you're saying that. Really, dude? Yeah. You can't believe it? I mean, I get when it's happening to you, you're like, I can't wow, I didn't you're think that was breaking my heart. I know. <laughs> How, but how awkward was that scene? So when Ashley confronts Levi and they're they're walking down the street, a I pointed out how awkward the scene was because Levi looked like he couldn't walk, and then David was like, David was like, they're on a steady cam. So um, I take I take any excuse I can to to shoot cheap shots at Levi. I know. Also, though, if you do watch that scene over again, he's holding a. a a cup in his hand at one point and then it disappears and then it's back again and then it disappears <laughs> and it's back again. Just alcoholism. I love Ashley. <laughs> like yeah, we I, oh, yeah, we, we I actually really Ashley do too. love Ashley. I mean, we I love Yeah, we poke fun at her, but we we really do love her. But uh how weird was that when she's She's trying to point out to him, hey, you did something wrong. And he's like, must have been some other handsome devil. <laughs> he thinks he's a handsome devil. There are right. a lot of people wearing camos. And she's like, I saw Chase's hair. I yeah. saw the hair. I well, I, my comment was, uh, is my mic turned off? Yes, it's on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I can't hear myself oh, anymore. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's on. Um, so my comment to that was, though... Um, Oh my god, I just well, totally Hold blanked. on guys, I'm sorry. Your wow. comment was that there's only five other people yes, at the party. Yes, there are only five other people at the party. Three. And we also <laughs> have, three. adding to our party, we have another caller on the line. Caller, what? what's your name? Where are you from? Hello. Oh, Mary. Hello. Oh, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hello. Hello. This is our friend, Hello. Kenny. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I thought this it was is Kenny. Mary Kenita. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. So, hi. Hey, so Kenita. Um, I'm sorry. I've got, I've got a little bone to pick. I've well, no, no. I've got a on. bone to pick. Where the crap are you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk well, about your I'm, boner. <laughs> I, I had a previous engagement tonight, so. So you're supposed to you guys let us are, know. You, I was trying to catch you guys, and you guys are running on CP time. So what, what, what's up with that? Because we were waiting for your CPS. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's shit. not fair. That's not fair. How are you guys? Hey, how about Good. this is a job and you're supposed to call in when you're not here? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, right? We were calling the highway patrol and all that. We were. We well, had your that. face on milk bottles. Oh, really? Yeah. Just oh, I'm one. sorry, you guys. Just one. <laughs> it was an expired. <laughs> it was expired. Carton. It was almond milk. <laughs> it wasn't even the good stuff. It wasn't even real milk. 
<laughs> so, so what's going on? What are you guys wearing? <laughs> we were just talking about how much we love Ashley. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. You know what? I've got a newfound love for Ashley myself. Um, I didn't like her too much in the beginning, but I've really grown to like her. Um, why? Why is that? Because I have my opinion on that, but I was wondering why. Why? You, you know why? why? You, like I, you know what did it for me is at the end of the episode when those two. I was gonna say the f word, but uh, when they started <laughs> fighting, he was the one that tried to break it up. And what's his face, little Taylor? He just kind of backed out and like. You know, he didn't do anything to lift a hand. Like, when two friends are fighting, you, you do something. You try to break it up. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what she did. Also, um, in that she really stepped I up. Tell who was fighting he would have been snapped in two if you got in the middle of that. Yeah. Well, exactly. well, but she has balls. She has balls. She she really did try, and she has balls. Yeah. That, yeah. Like, I, I respect yeah, that. I think and she not actually believes she's you know, a, she even, a good Christian. Um, I think she's she a good even stepped up and tried to, you know, level with Levi and say, you know, I saw you guys, blah, blah, blah. And then she, and when that didn't work, she went to Chase and was like, you know what? I saw you guys. You know, what you're doing is wrong. And, you know. Did you think I, it I, was I, her place to tell Tyler or, you know, like she, because yeah. she also told Tyler about it. Like, as a friend, yeah. 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 But wouldn't it have been better to... Wouldn't it have been better to, to, like, say to Levi, if you don't tell him, I will? Well, you know what? It, it, she could have done one of two things. She could have said, you know, I'm not going to get involved, blah, 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 mm -hmm. and just watch all that shit, like, crash and burn. Or, you know, she did. I think she did the right thing by stepping up and saying, hey, look, this isn't right. I'm mm -hmm. letting you all know what's going on, and then you guys deal with it. I think she was totally fine. She did fine. talk to the right. other guys first. She talked to Chase and Levi first. Right. Exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. I'm shocked no one went to Philip first. <laughs> <laughs> They're done. They're done with Rest that. Is hard. I think. Yeah. I think the most genuine relationship is Taylor and Ashley. Ashley. Mm -hmm. So I think definitely she had. It was in her place to say something. But I was telling Jackie. I think she has the worst timing for yes for her confrontation yes. like with the whole you know, <laughs> she does do it at bad places yeah. Yeah. She's like thing. everybody's drunk there's a party and go i know jumping ahead <laughs> of me with the james <laughs> thing at the end when he's having his breakdown if there if there was going to be a situation that would make somebody jump off the ledge it would have been her i'm like okay thanks for telling me i'm crazy and i need like like clinical help you no. could see in the conversation no, no. he was getting visibly awkward, like more and more awkward as she talked to him. He he climbed in between two cars. He <laughs> sat down in between two cars on the street. First of all, can I ask you guys a question. No, am I the only one that feels bad for James? Like I don't. Think no, he I did feel bad for him. I do too. I feel bad for him. What? I feel bad. for yes. him. He, look, he's on the crazy do train. Do not I, feel an ounce of anything for him. Okay, well, I do, oh, he's, okay, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait David, wait, do you feel bad for Taylor? No, I don't oh, feel bad for Taylor. David doesn't like Taylor. <laughs> then I'm good. He's okay, so, so we all, Wait, we all agree that Philip instigated this whole... Hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's okay, such so, a doctor. He gets off on it. Yeah. So so why is... why? It seems like they made James to look like the bad guy in the situation, the villain. which I totally no. disagree with. No, I don't think he is. And no. you know what? I've read other blogs. They don't They don't, They don't. don't feel James is a villain I either. don't think James is a villain. No, I think the I, problem is that he was, they were talking smack on him right before he walked up. Yeah. They were yeah. saying his trust fund is, oh, his party sucks, which his parties do suck, but his parties suck. He's not really a trust fund kid or else why is he working? He's such a loser. And then up he comes. Bad timing. And I, you notice how a lot of that happens on the show? Like a group of them will be talking bad about one of them, and that person will come up and they'll be like, hey, baby! Hey, baby yeah. you, but hey, babe, but did you guys notice, um, I think and I think Natalie was talking, um, that same thing happened when uh, Philip was talking to somebody about Chase, and Chase was right there in the background. Philip was and talking to Taylor. Mm -hmm. oh, Philip was talking to Taylor at the club, and Chase was standing in the background yeah, watching them. Jesse, I feel exactly. you're gonna. I feel you. Jesse was gonna say something about James. Well, I just think I don't think James is being made to look like a bad guy. I think James has a lot of issues, and I think everybody's aware that James has a lot of issues. And James, mm -hmm. being, I, I, I'm gonna put it out there, a spoiled trust fund baby. I kind of feel as if he kind of isolated himself from this whole group before the show even started mm -hmm. so i think he's coming into all these relationships from a third party perspective uh and for him to blast off on ashley because she said crazy 
I, I, I think that was his boiling point, and, and he's trigger. just a ticking like, bomb. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like I'm glad she's bringing him to see Jesus next week because <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It boils down to cars. the fact that James is an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. All right, and oh. all alcoholics act like that, whether you're a trust fund baby or right. not. When you're an but alcoholic my, and you reached your boiling point, that's how you act. You cry inexplicably, you're angry inexplicably, you get between cars, you run off. Like that's just yeah. how, how they act. But David, on on top of that, I, I have to I have to back James up a little bit. I mean, whenever someone goes to attack James, they only attack him on the fact that he doesn't work and he drinks and he right. has a tough fun. But at they the same point... don't really have point, anything else to go on. He, they you don't. know what I mean? They and don't. I think that's a little unfair. But the, at the same time, that's all he ever... That's all he talks about, too. But I think he's trying. I mean, he is He is saying, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to, like, go out He is, and he's trying and... to, like, start, like, his own career, whatever right. it may be. Yeah, but yeah, whether or not it's successful, it's, yeah. not, it's not it's <laughs> not successful, but he's trying. He is trying. But at the same time, like, my, at the I beginning think, of the I episode... I think for me... Oh, I'm sorry, David. I, for me, the whole... Because I think I'm going to lose you guys <laughs> in, like, five minutes. But um, for me, the whole Philip thing is, like, James spoke the truth to Philip to his face. And, you know, he said, this is between Chase, Taylor, and Levi. Don't start drama. Just get out of it. And all, you know, Philip said was, okay, well, let's talk about you and your trust fund. That had nothing to do with the whole situation. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. No, no, you're, right. You're, right. Yeah. you're right. But before that, Philip said that he's starting all the drama. Philip tried to blame James and said exactly. that you're starting all the drama. So I'm on the same page with you. I think Philip needs to get punched in his teeth. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I, I mean, this is this is to go back to Ashley's like handling of the confrontation. It's at the wrong time. But Cameron also did say, I like how she thinks through what she's going to say. Yes. You can really tell that she's she com- <laughs> she's not Niasha. She Sorry. comes into this situation prepared. Like at least she it's very well thought out. Yeah. She really thinks about what she's going to say. And you and it shows. But um, well, you also. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Well, I was going to say, you also genuinely get a sense that she genuinely likes everyone equally. She she has nothing against anyone. She just wants to be liked, and she wants everyone to get along. I don't think along. she likes Levi very much. No. She's trying. But I get that because well, I don't like Levi very yeah. much. I, think I don't think I'm anyone. Trying. She's a good Christian. Yeah, I think Levi is definitely losing <laughs> a lot of... Uh, she's a good Christian. Christian. Yeah. She's a true Christian. Christian. Yeah. Um, randomly, though, um, David and I think that... Ashley should start her own line of tutus. <laughs> oh, he's quite me. She's so cute. Yeah, because she wears one in every episode. <laughs> every episode, every yeah. time they're at a party. <laughs> she's going to start her own line like, of tutus. A low-end bar, you know, in Dallas. Doesn't and she's matter. In a tutu. Yeah, I love she can it. Be going she's got a tutu everywhere. She, like, she just is who she is, and she works it. She's like a living, breathing Barbie doll. Yeah. I liked her What's rainbow awesome belt. is that... She'll say something really deep and caring and lovely, and then, and this is no dishonor, I really think it's cute, and then she'll say something like, he's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, whichever one is the bad one. <laughs> right. That's him. Right. She said, that's the one he's being. Yeah. And she, but it doesn't matter, it's really cute and sweet and sincere. It is, you know? it is really cute, and you know what, like, I, I sometimes I'm watching her and I'm like, you know what, I've said stupid shit too and then like <laughs> as long as you know for me all my stupid shit isn't like immortalized on television but i guess kind of it now is immortalized on the rebound. internet it's how we rebound um, <laughs> but i i feel like i feel like she means well and her head's in a good place but i i do think it's endearing and it's cute the way she says stuff like that mm. um timing <laughs> yes so am i the only person that actually kind yes. of likes phil philip Yes. Yeah, let's discuss. Because because let's discuss. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> no, but I'm going to put it like this. I love reality TV, <laughs> and this show would not be anything if it wasn't for Philip. Now, I think today was the first time. All right, we have another caller calling in. Is this, Kenny's back? Is this Kenny again? Caller, you're on the line. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Damien, and I, you just lost me my, my cordless. So no, sorry, Damien. You have AT&T or something. That's your phone. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no. But um, the only thing that I think, Philip, to me, that has kind of grossed me out was the fight today. Because it was yeah. called out of nowhere. You're talking trash about James, who you kind of, like, act as if you are his friend. And I thought you guys were cool. And now you're talking about his trust fund. Like, I thought that was his only friend. 
No, but then he he yeah. makes his he makes like a he has like a connection. The other thing that annoyed me was he had a connection with Chase over the over the whole Talking you know about family. trouble with coming out to your family and right. accepting you. But and then he stabs him in the back in like the very next scene. He's like, mm, you're a whore. Well, he was a whore, whore. and he Wait, also the, this is why I like him because he is the bringer to light. He whatever your secret is, <laughs> it's coming out. Do not even why are you he releasing has no it to her? He just, you're not his personal friend. You wouldn't like it if he was in your life very much. And yeah, I you would. I, yes, I would because I would know what not to say to him. <laughs> <laughs> I have no Please. shame in my game. Please. And, Please and at least you know something that you, would slip out. You can push him in the pool and he'll still like you later. Yes, right. Cameron that so said weird. that. Pussy. He was like, he, he was like, you pussy. pushed him in the pool and now you're crying <laughs> onto Philip, his you're chest. Pussy. But they were calling him out. So drunk, it just seemed like drunken banter conversation where they probably didn't remember they had that conversation the next day. Even though they some talk. of them, I think they would though. Like uh, the drunkest seem to be Levi seem so dr- all the time. Oh my gosh, he's so drunk. He's drunk. I wish and I could sweaty. do an impression of his face. Oh, yeah. he's had to toss your head back now. Drink throwing that goes on in every episode. It seems they really? love some of they love that. Throw drinks. They love that. It's because it's hot. I think it's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot out here, and I'm mad. Let's cool down. No, my favorite, what was it, like the first episode where they introduced James? He had his own vodka that he carried around in his bag. Oh, that yes. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. I love that. That was Get amazing. Kenny, ever- hi, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny, me. how's your own vodka? We Kenny, lost- Kenny carries his own alcohol. I think we lost Kenny. Have you ever actually thrown a drink in someone's face? Yes. It's oh, really hi, fun. It's I'd rather so fun. I have yet to try really that. really satisfying. Yeah, it is. I think that's why they Wait do it. Wait, okay. when did you guys all do that? Awesome. I'd like special to do that. Se- oh thank God, you. Special segment. <laughs> I want to know what it was that got you to, like, really, you threw a drink and said, what was it that caused you to do that? Yeah. I was drunk. Jackie, let's start with you. Um, I was drunk, and I was probably about, like, 23 at the time, and this guy, I was at a party, and it happened to be at this particular guy's house, and he was hitting on me, and he was like, whatever, I'm going to see what you got upstairs later. And then I thought that was cheeky, so I threw a drink in his face, but I was also very drunk. The Uh, end. That was a good That's story. David, I, ha- I would like to hear yours now. <laughs> that David. is very dramatic. Mine um, happened at a bar. I was very drunk. <laughs> See, um, this is how these all begin. They were all they drunk all when they did this. No, I was 23. Oh, oh, girl. Oh, girl. After David's, we'll hear this. <laughs> so I was also 23. I was at a bar, and there was like a, a Levi Taylor type relationship with m- not me, but my friend were was in that type of relationship. Right. And. <laughs> and not my, me, my but someone friend. whose name begins with a D and ends in Avid. No, it's not me. It was my friend Jeffrey, and he was dating oh, this guy who we called Harvard. Oh, okay, because he went to Harvard. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I could never remember his name. Anyway, and he Harvard was tr- was hitting on me while my friend was getting drinks, and I got upset, and so I threw my drink in his I face. I think you mentioned that actually before yeah. or something to that. Gosh, I really want to do this now. So, Damien. so Damien, what's yours, girl? Um, okay, so I was dating this guy from Liverpool and he was a bartender in Beverly Hills and oh. he asked me, he said he was going back to Liverpool and he asked me to go back with him like to visit, you know, and we made plans and like I was getting clothes for it. You know how you do when you're gearing up for a trip and I, you know, going to sublet my apartment, all that. And then I found out from his roommate, who totally let it slip, that he was going to leave a week before we planned on going without telling me. Rude. Hello. So I went to his work and ordered a drink from him and then threw it in his face. Oh, See, nice. that is clever and well-planned. That's... Thank you. Thank you, Malaysia. There is nothing yeah. wrong with that. Good no, job. No, that's... <laughs> so wrong. Kenny, Kenny, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought we lost Kenny. I'm Disconnect. sorry. I need She's to not back. have Tourette's. Kenny, <laughs> Kenny always ends up making her way back. Kenny, have you ever thrown a uh, drink in true. someone's face? Okay, you know what? Let me. I, I, I didn't want to mention that. Um, that's, I'm I'm a little over all of them dr- throwing drinks. I think that's a waste of a drink. And no, Kenny, I'm see, Kenny's the one who would hold his mouth you. open as we threw a drink at him to try and catch whatever was left. <laughs> okay, so Jack, Jackie knows because we sit at work all day and we exchange uh, delisted uh, quotes. And the nice. delisted guy, if you don't know who delisted is, he's if you're if you're at, if you're my employer and you're watching thing. this, I don't do that. It's the funniest thing, and he always says that alcohol is considered the good nectar of the world. Yes. yes. So 
I absolutely agree with him. Stop throwing drinks, people. I mean, seriously, it's a waste. <laughs> well, I still want to do it's it just like, once. Do You need to. It's very yes. satisfying. Even if it's just a glass of water. Yeah, okay, see, water's fine. Uh, Alcohol, water's fine. <laughs> no. I don't I care. You, as long as you guys accept the responsibility, eyes. you throw a drink, you better make sure you're ready for the repercussions. That's oh, all I'm saying. I will saying. throw down. <laughs> I can run pretty fast. <laughs> You can't okay. give a drink willy-nilly. It has to be in a real douchebag. Yes. A really special yes. woman. Yes. Yeah, it, yeah, hers was better planned though than mine. Mine was like yeah, mine was drunk knee jerk. <laughs> mine was too. So I'm just waiting for someone to tell me my nipples are winking at him. Yep. And that's on. Oh yeah, my that's god, that's on. Okay. Well, we'll have but you to have to be where you, you have to we'll you have to be where the monkeys. If, someone yeah. were, if one of your gay friends were to say that to you, would that upset you? Me? No. It would have to be a, a douchebag guy. Okay, we'll work on that. Okay. <laughs> you guys we'll said it, I'd be like, really? <laughs> Sorry, Thanks. I, I, was, I was in uh, Trader Joe's. I missed some of the conversation. Were you guys ever Were talking you about in the Trader Joe's? Um, White Oak? In White Oak? No. Down and the street from here? No. no, no. <laughs> Where we got the similar bean dip? The Trader Joe's in West Hollywood. Okay. All right. We're okay, uh, well, we got to cut We gotta cut to it, guys. I'm so sorry, but... The one but... by Ponceria or the one by <laughs> in West Hollywood? <laughs> I okay. love it. What? I think we're going to cut to commercial, y'all. It's the one on Ponceria. Bye. Damien Bye. and Kenny, it was great hearing Bye, from girl. you guys, but we got to cut to commercial. The biggest new media platform on the web just got bigger. With smoother streaming, lightning, fast download. Get technical with me. After Buzz TV is making the jump to hyperspace. Join the fun at your number one source for after show entertainment. Look at the size of that thing. After Buzz TV. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> we're back. Hey. We're back. Hey. <laughs> okay, now we're on to our special topic. Okay. Um, <laughs> Which is about hate crimes. <laughs> yeah. Good thing it's not a heavy special topic or anything. Right. Um, what's interesting, though, I'd like to begin with, I, I passed around this article. Did you just change the lights to red? This is the hate crime This is lighting. the hate crime oh. lighting. Oh, God. That's so sad. Oh, God. Um, I'd like to start with Taylor, actually, um, because okay. he, it, he wrote... Um, he wrote like an, an article about Kim Kardashian and how her marriage was a sham and how it, um, it, you know, it, um, it, it's, it's not fair because it's ruining the sanctity of marriage right. versus, you know, they, people having straight people having marriages like this and then gay people can't get married. So he wrote, um, he wrote a blog in it. The blog is based on a blog entry was based on, um, calling it a publicity stunt, right? which, um, I find interesting because people are also accusing him of doing publicity stunts. Like there was a, the yeah, there was a rock thrown through his window and they said it was a publicity stunt. Um, he had, I sent around this article, he had his car keyed and then somebody, this I, was not a publicity stunt though because it was uh, later reported, but he had his car keyed and then he called after the person to say, hey, don't do that to my car. And then they kind of beat him to the ground. So he had this like Twitter photo of him. Blood with, all over his shirt. I think something yeah, happened to his ear. Yeah, very, very bloody. But you know, and I mean, no, they filled, they filled there were cops there and they filled okay. a report and, and things. And then he took a, a pic and picture then he took with a his camera. Well, He's did like, you see yeah. what was on the car? I think it was backlash from when he had that meeting with Ann Coulter yes. because it said the F word filter on it. Okay, he got his ass subject. beat and then we're he took not a la- Is it serious subject, we're, I'm <laughs> laughing because I'm looking right. at Jesse. I'm not laughing because I think hate crimes are funny. I don't think they're funny either. Um, Kenny's praying. I mean, Cam, Cam's praying for our looks. <laughs> Cam's, Cam's praying for us. Um, but no, I, I'm trying not to laugh. I'm sorry. He, um, so he, uh, so he had this happen to him, and mm-hmm. and then Natalie also brought up an article about a 26 year old gay man who was stabbed and burned uh, at a Halloween party, and apparently this happened. It was in Reno, Texas. Uh, yes, so it was in Texas, and this happened. This has happened to more than one guy, I guess, in the area. And my first concern, as always, with Dallas is I'm always saying, like, is this safe? Is this a good place to be gay in? You know, and I, how large is the gay community? How there? large is the gay community? Well, you know, up until more recent times, gay acts were illegal in the state of Texas. Mm-hmm. Like so- sodomy, basically. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, having right. sex, it was illegal. So, I mean, if that, I think that got repealed like a couple years ago. 1992. 
No. Okay, whatever. But still, but that's still, still close. Yeah. But still, I think close, it's um, like, what I'd like people to comment on, though, is just, I mean, these things happen and it's still, I mean, it's still hard after like the whole media circus surrounding Matthew Shepard and which was such a long time ago. It's still hard for me to to accept that this happens still today and that people aren't better educated and that um, and and that. I don't know that somebody in the crowd when this was happening wouldn't step up. And that's another that's another thing that's so hurtful and I guess and hard to yeah. believe. And then when what what happened with Taylor is you have pretty much like so, something like somebody doing hate upon someone that may or may not be gay themselves. So this is just like you're giving us a bad name. Now we're going to beat you up. I mean, like it can I want you it's guys to comment too much violence. on that. Yeah, it's just, I don't understand um, what, I mean, I, I don't agree with Taylor, but nothing in my, like, nothing in my being would be like, I have to go key his car and then, like, punch the shit out and of him. And nothing justifies it either. It's no. unnecessary. No. Um, it's hard, it's hard to comment on it. No, I know, I know, yeah, because we all know, agree. Because we do all agree. Um, and, and that's that's where it gets a little difficult. Right. I think for anybody. I mean, like you said, Matthew Shepard's hate crime happening so long ago, but it still resonates with so many people. I mean, his mother just released a novel last year um, called The Meaning of Matthew, which is fantastic if you haven't read it. Um, but it's it's one of those things that people don't necessarily talk about it that much. It's not one of the, those things that you hear about in the news that often. Mm-hmm. You know, people don't come forward when they get beat up like this or when they, there's a hate crime and they survive it. People don't talk about it because they don't want to be ostracized for it. Just in the same way that I think a, sometimes women don't come forward if they've been raped. Mm-hmm. You know, it takes a while to, to get over it. You don't want to be ostracized. Right. You don't want to relive it over and over again. Right. Right. So people in the media, it's not really discussed unless it's something But I think because it's not being awful. discussed, right. that's why still happening right right it's not yeah. like i was shocked when i found the article it was a week old like i that's something that i would like to have known sooner or that i think would be in the media more and it was an old article it was d- dated like november 2nd and i think we passed it around late last week yeah. right that's what i'm saying like yeah. it wasn't nationwide news no it, it was, was local not. news and the and the thing with taylor it's like the only reason this becomes bigger news is because he's associated with a reality tv right. show and I'm wondering if I don't want to relate the show to that particular crime, but it, it's it's I'm worried, you know, for the gay community in Dallas. If this is, you know, that the show is on TV right now and it's in Dallas and then this crime happens in Reno, Texas. Like, I don't are they mad that the show is on the air? Is that why, you know, this is starting to drum up again or we're just hearing about it? Does that make sense? I yes, th- it does. And it might be drawing a little bit too much attention to a neighborhood or a, a, a community that doesn't want the attention. Right. Right. Because we also notice, I notice that there are a lot of faces blacked out in the Mm -hmm. background. And no one goes to the parties. Yeah. No one, either they don't go to the parties or their faces are all blanked out. And it's like, I, this is what I was wondering when we started, like what, um, I would like ideally like this, like any show to, that locates in an area that's not like a, like a, a very major metropolitan, major metropolitan city to, to highlight positively, but then it's, you know, it's always, this is the effect. Gotta start yeah. somewhere. Right. Yeah, exactly. You do, and maybe hopefully in the future this will be more of a of a safe haven for gay people in Dallas, but, you know, the reality stands that. Yeah, it's a war on ignorance, and yeah. every right. war has casualties, unfortunately. Right. You know, and, and I'm going to shoot myself in the butt. Say it. So the whole Taylor thing, you know, it, the, what was keyed into his car, it said, like F something culture, culture yeah. yeah, you know, and so the implication is that it was somebody from our own gay community, possibly anti Republican, and again, not that it's justification, but on that same page that had the article with his picture of like the 23 blog entries below it, 20 of them were saying that's what you get. Not, I'm not agreeing, not, I'm also not disagreeing, but they're saying, you know, if you speak against your own community, you're taking a risk of repercussions as... Yeah. And that's the problem. I think Taylor isn't educated enough to know that he's speaking 
against his own community. I mean, he, I think Levi he, called he him has out to be one. he has to be more educated than we, than we give him credit for. I mean, there's no way that he's in politics and talking to people like Ann Coulter and like speaking his mind the way that he does without being an educated person. I mean, of course, he has to realize that he is speaking against his own community and that there are repercussions, Repercu not necessarily repercussions, but you know, there are, I don't know what I'm saying. And people within his <laughs> no, own you. group yeah. don't disagree with him. With Levi, the episode when Levi got drunk and he was breaking up with Taylor, he was kind of making fun of him saying, you're a gay Republican asking people for money. And he was, you know, he was sort of making fun of him. Uh, when they were, before they broke up, when they were on the couch together, and the, the healthcare. I kind of wanted them to continue talking yes. about politics. Yes, when he when he blasts healthcare, and Levi says, "Hey, you're you're an independent consultant. You're probably going to need universal healthcare." It's like, I don't know. I those debates and would I be more interesting. I just feel yes. like all of his friends, you know, they're his friends, but none of them agree with you know Taylor's background or his viewpoints or anything. Yeah, right. A lot of it st stems from self worth, and you have to know who you really are. Yeah. Don't just jump on somebody else's bandwagon. Yeah. But hey. Right. Well, Jesse, um, do we have time to cut to um, gossip or gossip. are we out? Uh, <laughs> Jesse's bored. He's like, I want Philip. <laughs> Where's Philip? Boy. Oh. <laughs> Punch him in his teeth. I like Philip when he when he's with his therapist. When he has I don't, I'm moments, over Philip. So. I don't like Philip. I don't like he wants way together. too much attention. Yeah. That's why his mom disappeared. After Buzz TV News. You like when I can do that, huh, Cam? Mm hmm. So Washington State launched an effort oh. to achieve marriage equality. Washington United for Marriage marks the ultimate step towards achieving the freedom to marry for lesbian and gay couples in Washington. Washington United for Marriage geez, uh, <laughs> will lead the statewide effort to educate and advocate for the freedom to marry for all Washingtonians. The goal is to have legislations legalizing civil marriage for lesbian and gay couples passed by the legislature and signed into law by Governor Chris Gregory next year. Go Washington. <laughs> woo woo! Uh, J. Edgar opened how? this weekend. Go ahead, Cam. No, he just speak said how. <laughs> J. Edgar opened this weekend. The LA Times calls it Ooh. a somber, enigmatic, darkly fascinating tale. The film was directed by Clint Eastwood and features Leonardo DiCaprio as J. Edgar Hoover. Army Hammer as Clyde Tolson and Naomi Watts as Helen Gandy. The film explores Hoover's public legacy and his private life. I put that on there because I love that movie. I'm also, so J. Edgar was a very well-known transvestite. Mm -hmm. Crossdresser. Yeah, me. there's, a, there's. I mean, without giving away too much, yeah. he, he, the character does try on his mother's clothes. Yeah. Um, I was crying at the end. I <laughs> just like. I liked it. If and Cam's like, what? what, what? Hey, wait, if you go read, see it with me? if you read Tim Gunn's biography, there's a an excerpt where he talks about meeting J. Edgar oh, as a child. Oh, I should read that. Yes. Love Tim Gunn. Gunn. Project Runway. Project Runway. Tim Gunn. Love him. Love him. Designers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We're we're ready to we're, we're ready done. to head out. Right, fine. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Why? Do we even have time it's for like yawning back there? It's hot in here. Mm. Oh my. This is why there's no time to talk about shh. Because you keep these things. I can't that? hear why anything. Is that, David? Because yeah, you keep really those things on really long. I put it on and I leave it on. Time. That is very sensitive for Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> you say this is why we don't have time. Um, She's a stupid bitch. She's a stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't have any predictions for next week. <laughs> More fights. I think Woo! everyone's gonna turn on each other, and yeah. and Ashley's gonna remember. save them all. I just, I just hope James. Oh yeah, is okay. Ashley brings <laughs> James to church. Oh, that's right. Yes, we got some Jesus up in the next My, episode. I, what I didn't like is seeing that James is gonna apologize to Philip. What but, the fuck? For yeah, because yeah. no. he's the bigger person. He saw Jesus, and he, he needs to make up for his sins. And mm. Philip's gonna be the devil. <laughs> that's racist. What well, you made that racist? Oh my god! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, on that note, <laughs> that's all we have for today. For the sorry Dallas. if we offended anybody. <laughs> until next week. <laughs> Bye. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. 
If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.